This Fuser tutorial will show you how to sync a Revit file to Fuser and how to save that as a Fuser cache file. With your model open in Revit, select the Fuser plugin and click Launch Fuser. This will open the Fuser Revit document manager. In this top section, you'll find your linked Revit files. Select the files you want to sync or press Select All. For each file, you can choose Host View or Linked View. Host View means that the specific view filter applied to the host model will be applied to the linked file. And Linked View will display the view filter that you set from the drop down menu. I'll just keep the host view. There's the choice of detail level, either fine, coarse, or medium, and the default being fine. The coordinates are either shared or project internal. Shared would mean that when combining multiple models and files in one project, the shared coordinates establish the positions of the files in relation to each other. And project internal would be used for standalone models, using only the internal coordinates for that project. Export geometry is recommended so that your UV mapping is more properly synced to Fuser. Send Views will export your Revit views to Fuser, and those can be found in the Saved Views app of Fuser. Send Lines will send your Revit 2D lines to Fuser, where the visibility can be easily toggled on and off. When you click OK, Fuser will automatically launch. After a few moments of loading, you'll be able to see your model in Fuser. As you can see by clicking on an object, all of my BIM properties imported from Revit with the model. In order to save this as a Fuser cache file, I'll click the Fuser project panel icon and click save. I'll choose my file location and name and once it's finished saving, I'll click OK. To find the views from Revit that synced over, go to the saved views app and you'll find them all listed. To see your 2D lines that you synced over, open the Visibility Override app and click Show 2D Lines. And that is how you sync a model over from Revit and save it as a Fuser cache file. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful.